So this is going to be a reading for my Pisces. I hope that you guys are ready for June and ready to make the most out of this time frame. Now, we're going to pull the energy and see how the next 40 hours goes for you. If you are new, any important links that you may be looking for will be in the description box. So just check there. Let's see what's going on. Pisces for June 1st through the 2nd. Okay. So current energy around you, we have the three of wands. The energy that may come up in the future, we have the seven of swords. Advice, we do have the daughter of pentacles. Challenge is the six of wands in reverse. Love is the three of pentacles. And career, we do have the two of pentacles. Or not two of pentacles, excuse me, two of um, swords. Whew. <laughs> So let's go ahead and discuss this Pisces. So first card being that three of wands energy in reverse. Uh, currently, you guys are struggling with seeing the bigger picture. And this could be like in the short term, little instances or issues coming up that could be causing you to not necessarily see clearly. Let me zoom in a little. Okay, there we go. So yeah, so this is little short-term situations or instances that may be creating a barrier to which you don't really have mm, like this confidence to profess good things in the future. And you may be just thinking that the short-term is going to be the long-term. When of course that's not necessarily true unless you keep following the same steps that have led you to experiencing you know stagnant energy or delays but um with the three of wands in reverse yeah this is you either realizing that you need to get some plans pop in or put things in place for the next three weeks or three months um or realizing that you need to have like, again, more of a level of confidence, clarifying that I do have the six of cups in reverse. So a lot of you, this lack of optimism about the future may have a lot to do with your recent past and some bad experiences you just may have went through, whether this is like issues with the person you may have children with or issues with a particular relationship that went completely sour and then wanting to tell that same story about your next relationship because that's what you feel like you you have to cling on to so interesting energy when it comes to what i see for what's to come in the future with the seven of swords this is avoidance so this could be you avoiding a person a job a thing um for some of you this is more of like you catching your person in some lies or like if you were suspecting that this person may have been cheating with someone specifically or you just notice some sneaky energy around them, this is you calling your person out on their BS in the future, or at least noticing some crucial stuff. Now, hmm. Now, when it comes to the advice that I can give you for this time frame with the Page of Pentacles, which is the daughter of Pentacles here. The advice I can give you is to make sure that you guys are being more optimistic in your opportunities. Um, some of you are experiencing like this thought process that you don't have access to opportunities in your love life or you don't have access to opportunities in your career. And if you keep telling that same story or if you keep believing that, that, that becomes true. Because you will limit yourself so much so that you do confine yourself to a box of opportunities. So um, this is being cautious in the way that you're looking at it. Any um, opportunities that you feel like were just too small for your energy, that means that it's time to upgrade in your way of thinking and the things that you're entertaining as far as people and like I said, career options. Now, the challenge 
during this time frame with the, what is this? I think this is the seven of wands, not the six of wands. So with the seven of wands in reverse, the challenge may be completely coming out of certain obstacles you may have existing already. Already, this is a card of obstacles. Upright, this would literally be the card of challenges and obstacles and issues. But with it being in reverse, um, some of you have certain issues that are persisting to be a problem. And that may be the challenge for this time frame is that certain problems that you may have had before this time frame may still exist, whether that's like confidence issues, um, things like that. Also, this could be um, the cha the challenge could be you letting go of a relationship or something that is a challenge. It's like some of you have dedicated your energy to making sure that something's a go and you giving up completely on it is like saying that you failed or that you're defeated. Now, when it comes to what I see for your love life specifically with the three of pentacles, this is you. This is you trying to work out the foundation. Um, for a lot of you, it's going to be very rocky when it comes to you and your person coming to a common ground. But you guys are definitely going to be trying. Um, if there is a third party situation going on in your love life. That's also going to be nipped in the bud because you may be realizing that, again, in order for this relationship to be in a healthy place, there's a need for you to actually figure out why this person may be trying to keep constantly putting you in a third party situation. Where, where is that stemming from? So, yeah, a lot of decisions around whether or not to work out a relationship or a connection with someone in particular. Now, when it comes to career, I have the two of swords. So this is you being in a space to where you don't really necessarily know what you want to do in your career. This is you feeling pretty stuck. You may have like two different ideas that are kind of contradicting and it's hard for you to make a decision or you don't at all have an idea of what career fits you and is going to make you feel happy and give you the money that you're looking to make. So you, you might be having to sit on that a little bit too, but this is what I see in regards to energy. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. I am going to leave it right here. Um, if you did thumbs it up, subscribe, check out the description. If you need a personal, everything that you ever need to reach me will be listed there. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you for your support. Bye, Pisces.